to Connecticut now and that state ending its plan to impose tolls on trucks. 22 News reporter Katrina Kincaid is live in Springfield tonight to explain the change. And Katrina, you also talked with truck drivers. Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont said state lawmakers were unable to vote on his plan. So for now, he's postponing it. After months of figuring out a plan to toll drivers on various Connecticut highways in order to raise money for deteriorating roads, the governor has stopped all plans. The most recent plan would have tolled only trucks. The plan was expected to bring in around $200 million annually and was going to toll commercial trucks with 18 wheels or more. The thought behind it was the large vehicles do the most damage to the roads. We spoke to one man who drives trucks who says the plan would hurt small truck companies. I don't think it would hurt you know, your big companies like Swift and, and Schneider and like that, but little, little trucking companies, uh, yeah, we have to pay the tolls. Uh, the brokers don't pay them. Tolls, they kind of they eat at that, at that profit that you can make driving the truck. Lamont is blaming state Republicans and Democrats for taking too long to vote on the plan. But some state senators say the delay comes from Lamont changing the plan. The tolls could range between six and thirteen dollars. I mean, it may be profitable for Connecticut, but as far as for the trucking industry, I mean, it's just another, another thing coming out of the pocket, you know, of these trucking companies. Lamont said legislators agree that nearly twenty billion dollars is needed to fix the state's transportation problems. Connecticut lawmakers move the vote to an undetermined day next week in Chicopee. Katrina Kincaid, Twenty Two News.